So welcome back to the channel, I'm Alex and I'm going to show you in this video a little watering trick so you'll never lose a seedling to this again. What's more, this ingredient is widely available throughout the world. You'll find it in many supermarkets and health stores. If you're lucky, you might even find it growing in abundance in the wild. It's natural, it's organic. In fact, you could drink a whole quart of this stuff and it won't hurt you. Watch this, Patrick Moore. Chuck, 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 chuck. <sighs> I never was good at chugging. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the herb horsetail or mare's tail. The botanical name, if my Latin is there, is Equisetum Irvance, and it's a perennial medicinal herb with some unique properties. If you love gardening content, ornamental plant care and DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so you don't miss a single video. So horsetail is often sold throughout the world in supermarkets and health shops as a herbal tea. You can buy it already in tea bags or in its loose form. And it's been used for centuries as a herbal remedy for many ailments. Being a natural diuretic, it's been used to treat fluid retention, urinary tract infections and kidney stones. It's an anti-inflammatory, an antioxidant, it's got antimicrobial properties and we could go on and make a whole video just about horsetail and the benefits, the medicinal uses that we could use and, and maybe we'll do this in another video because it truly is an amazing plant. What we're interested in today is the uses of horsetail with our plants. Now dampening off is a common problem for anyone that's tried growing plants from seed at some point. You know the story, you plant a load of seed, you're looking forward to watching them grow, the, the sprout, they're looking fabulous and then a day or two later you wake up to this. It happens to everybody and it is super discouraging. They call this little conundrum in the gardening world dampening off and it's caused by a pathogen called Pythium which is spread mainly through fungus gnats. You know these disgusting annoying little flies that hang around damp soil. In a future video and if it's out by now click it'll have just popped up the link in the top right corner. I'll show you some nice little ways we can keep fungus gnats at a minimum and even remove them entirely. Now the good news is that we can easily take care of this problem, not by using harmful chemicals or treated seed, but just by making a cup of horsetail tea. Make a cup of horsetail tea, allow it to brew for five to six minutes. The longer the better to extract as much of them properties as possible. Then dilute it one part tea to four parts of water. If you're buying your horsetail loose or you've managed to collect it out in the wild and you've allowed it to dry, then use about a teaspoon, decent teaspoons worth to a cup of boiling water. Then once you've diluted it, four parts water, simply water your seedlings with it. Hostel contains potassium, magnesium and calcium and phosphorus, so it's going to help promote healthy root growth for your plants and seedlings and strengthen general plant health. The antimicrobial, antifungal properties within the horse tail will protect our plants from fungal and microbial attacks. Since I started using horse tail to water my seedlings about once a week, once they've popped through the surface, I've not lost one plant to this frustrating issue. Now, if you're not already sold on using horse tail, you will be after this. Horse tail can be used effectively to treat a number of fungal issues on your plants like powdery mildew, black spot, anthracnose, peach leaf curl, early and late blight. Just add the mixture which was one part horse tail to four parts water, put it in a sprayer and whack it on your plant. It's great for keeping fungal diseases away from fruit in plants and crops and it'll act as a foil your feed as well. What more do you want? Bluetooth? Wi-Fi? Well it comes with that as well. <laughs> 
No, he doesn't. Tell me what you think about horsetail in the comments or share with the community any gardening tips that you've come to love. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. Share the video with your friends. It really helps the community to continue growing. And for those who have got too much money and don't know what to do with it, I can help. Channel memberships are coming. We'll have more about that in the future, but I've been busy designing some awesome little badges that you can get and emojis for use in the channel. As always, it's been a real pleasure to try and connect with you guys. If you want to know five organic natural ways that you can deal with pests in your garden, then hit the video that's just popped up at the top right there or the bottom one the youtube's algorithm thinks you're gonna enjoy that one till next time guys i'll see you later